If you've been out of the country, welcome back. And did you know 16, I mean 17, uh, oh well, a lot of people are running for president of the United States. When it's time for voting, I vote for the one who I feel that will run this country in the right way. The Republicans have a long list of choices for their party's nomination. The Democrats, not as many. But Valencia, who's an independent, has already made up her mind. She's at the top of her game where she's running for president. Very excited. I'm all the way Hillary. Valencia Morris lives at the Enclave in Cutler Bay and wanted to show her support for Hillary Clinton. So I decided to put it on my front window that was inside my home, right next to the ADT sticker. A small sign inside her home just like this. Valencia didn't think it was a big deal, but... We got a letter from the association. They took a picture of the window and they asked could it be corrected, basically taking it down. Valencia was surprised that a political sign inside her living room was illegal in her neighborhood. Readyforhillary.com. Nothing vulgar. Her neighbors have signs inside their homes that support guns. Others have flags. Valencia thinks that's great for them. So why can't a person living in a democracy have a sign for a presidential candidate inside their house? You have rights, and I feel that you have the right to vote. You have the right of freedom of speech. Valencia emailed the management company running the Enclave, asking where in the documents it said a political sign in her home was a violation. They didn't respond. So to avoid the inevitable next step from them, she took her Hillary sign down. And I know the next steps, if you did not, if you don't correct it, they are gonna send you a bill. That's how it works, a fine. Valencia says if her neighbors wanna put up a Jeb Bush or Marco Rubio sign in their house, they can't. But if they wanna put up another kind of sign, they can. So Howard, is that legal? The First Amendment freedom guarantees that the government cannot stop you from expressing your ideas. But an association can if their documents are written properly. And these documents are. And if this went to court, the homeowner would probably lose. We contacted the property manager for the enclave at Black Point Marina. When we asked about Valencia's campaign sign, he told us this Hillary sign is considered an architectural change. She needs to fill out a form and submit it for approval from the board. He then finally responded to Valencia's email and told her that neither the association or the management company are against your rights to express your political beliefs. Just follow the procedures for the community. Valencia sent in her request to the board to put up her Hillary sign inside her house. She has not gotten an answer yet. Legally, the board can regulate signs, but they need to be careful when they make exceptions, like blocking political signs but allowing signs regarding guns. That could be what the law calls selective enforcement, and that is illegal. Valencia hopes the board approves her political sign, even though she thinks they should focus on other, more important issues. Associations are good, but not when they're over-exaggerating or trying to be the police or the law enforcement when it comes to you, you just expressing your support. Now, we were told by the property manager that the political sign is an architectural change. It's not a permanent architectural change, of course, but if a board wants to step in and call it that, they have that power. Valencia is right. Maybe they should focus on other things. Campaigning to clear up a problem you have? Don't elect to give up. Sign up with us. We don't accept contributions because we work for you for free. With this help me out, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.